Hello, and welcome back to another video. So, basically, I'm making a top 10 video of my favorite uh, magic or Disney World ride. So, not California, but in Florida. So, Disney World, basically. And uh, it's not going to include um, shows like the Tiki Room because that's going to be a separate list. And these are, this is going to be only the rides that I have been on. Anyways, so let's get into it. Okay, so um, at number 15, we have the Magic Carpets of Aladdin. And remember, these are only the rides I've been on, so that's why there's 15. Uh, I say Magic Carpets of Aladdin is number 15 because, well, I mean, it's basically just the Dumbo ride, which will be coming up in a minute, which I like more, and it's, like, kind of interesting. I mean, it's fun, but it's basically the same thing as the Dumbo ride. Uh, and so, in at number 14, we have Dumbo, which is basically like Aladdin, but I like Dumbo more than Aladdin, so basic reasoning there. And uh, in at number 13 we have the Tomorrowland Transit Authority People Mover and I mean I just say this because it's like interesting. I also have like fond memories of it but to me now there are rides that are more fun uh, but I do like how you go through Space Mountain and the little scenes you encounter including like I think it was the little model of Epcot I'm pretty sure that's in there. And in at number 12, we have the Tomorrowland Speedway. Uh, I didn't go on this ride in my recent Florida trip like some of these. I went on in my last Florida trip when I was five, but I went on one last summer uh, and went to theme parks and stuff. But, I mean, I remember the Tomorrowland Speedway being fun. Uh, I think the driving was, like, okay, but I... I remember there was one kid who would just keep bumping into us on purpose. Yeah, I mean, there's more fun rides than that. In at number 11, we have Mad Tea Party, and it's just kind of the classic cup ride, so... But I still like a lot of other rides better. I mean, I do like Alice in Wonderland, but it's just kind of like a spinny ride. It's fun, but once again, there's other rides that I like better. Okay, and... uh Next up at number 10 on the list is It's a Small World, and I say that because it's just a classic Disney ride, and I think it's fun to see all the different parts of the world, and it's in water. I love water dark rides. I love dark rides. I love water rides. Most dark rides and water rides, uh, and I think it's just pretty neat. Oh, and sometimes I also wonder, like, when you're in line and you're waiting to get on the boat, there's like a ton of change in the water, and I wonder how often they collect it, because they probably make a lot of money from it. Uh, and so up at number 9 is Winnie the Pooh. Now, some people might say that this ride is for, like, little kids, but actually, uh, I went on it, and, I mean, it was fun how the car turns, and I think it was, the effects were pretty neat, because, like, the rain was really cool, and I think it's just cool, you know, how all the ride works and it's just fun oh and also if you comment right now what your favorite Disney movie is you can get a chance to have a shout out in the next video so all you have to do is one be subscribed two is click the like button and uh, hit the notification bell because I'm gonna be making more videos and you just have to comment what your favorite Disney movie is, and you may have a shout-out in the next video. And coming in at number 8, we have Peter Pan's Flight, and uh, I think this ride's pretty cool, because it feels like you're in a cartoon, kind of like the Winnie the Pooh ride. And, uh, you know, you get to, you're hanging in this pirate ship on a, like, a railing thing, and you just kind of soar over Neverland, and then at the beginning, uh, over England. So, I think it's pretty cool. Coming in at number 7, we have Toy Story Mania. And, uh, I like this one because, you know, it's 3D and you get to shoot targets and stuff. And 
I think a lot of people say it's like the best Disney ride, but to me it's really not. I mean, it is really fun though, and it's worth getting the arm cramps. Because honestly, just repeatedly pulling that string out really tires your arm out. Six, we have another classic Disney ride, uh, the Jungle Cruise. I have a lot of fond memories of this ride, and I love the jokes that your skipper or your boat captain tells you. And, you know, it's pretty fun to just see all the cool animatronic animals. And, uh, I, like I said, I like water rides, so it's pretty fun. Okay, so for me at number five, uh, we have Star Tours. Now, this is a, I love Star Wars. Uh, and I think this is a really fun simulator ride because I also love simulator rides like the Harry Potter, uh, the Forbidden Journey ride at Universal Studios. I'll make, uh, other videos for, like, my favorite line rides at Legoland, Universal Studio, uh, Islands of Adventure, stuff like that. Uh, so that should be coming soon ish but anyways i just love star tours and it feels pretty realistic actually and uh yeah for me at number four is pirates of the caribbean what a classic disney ride and the ride that inspired the pirates of the caribbean movie series which i really love and I think it's just a fun water ride, and I just have great memories of it. And I think it has a lot of cool animatronics and just a lots of cool stuff. And then number three, we have the Haunted Mansion. Oh boy, when I was like five and went to Disney World, I went on that ride like seven times. But I think on like the fifth time... There was some ghost that, like, popped out behind a grave, and that scared me. So every time I went through the graveyard, I would close my eyes. But I actually, I think it's quite fun, and I think there's a lot of neat theming to it. And it's interesting to me how all the ghosts work. Uh, I think that's pretty cool, and I just really love that ride, because I just love ghosts. For me... Um, in it, number two, we have Space Mountain. You get the launch, which is going, like, through hyperspace or something like that. It feels pretty cool. And then it's just a roller coaster in the dark, like you're in space. I just love that ride. Uh, and I think it's just one of my, it's number two, and it's, um, one of my favorites. Uh, and so, a lot of these are higher up on my list, as you may notice, because like I said, I like water rides, dark rides, and simulator rides. It kind of feels like Space Mountain is a mix of a dark ride, a simulator ride, and a roller coaster, so it's pretty fun. zippity doo -dah. And at number one, we have Splash Mountain, which is my all-time favorite Disney ride that I have been on, not including the shows. Still, the shows would be less on my list. But anyways, I mean, I love water rides. I love log flume rides. Like, I love Dudley Do rides, Ripsaw Falls at Universal Studios, but I'll get into that in another video. Like I said, honestly, this ride is so great with all the animatronics, the songs. Uh, just, you can cool down. And I just... Love the rides so much. So, anyways, that's it for today's video. And remember, for the uh, shout out, make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you're notified. And then comment what your favorite Disney movie is. Okay, mine. Um, I have to do some serious thinking on that. That's probably gonna be another video. Maybe top ten. Maybe even top another top fifteen. Well, because I've only been on 15 Disney rides, and that's kind of a weird number to do a top video on. So maybe I'll just, I don't know, maybe you could also tell me that besides your favorite Disney ride. Should I do like a top 20 Disney movies, top 10 Disney movies? I don't know. Anyways, I will see you in like another video that will be coming out soon. It's probably going to be my favorite Universal Studios rides, or maybe it might be like a... A vlog? 
I don't know yet. But anyways, I will see you in the next video. Have a fantastic day. And, uh, yeah.